it is that time in the program where we answer your COVID-19 questions. And tonight, they're financial ones. Lots of Canadians now struggling to make ends meet. And they have questions about where and what help is available. So, two personal finance experts joining us. We have Leslie Ann Scorgi and Carrie Taylor. Hello to the two of you. Thanks for joining us. Carrie, you're going to start us off. And here's the first question going to you. I've been hit with reduced hours, so I'm still technically employed, but not making enough to live. What supports are there for me? That's a great question, and there's a known gap. Not all Canadians qualify for the Canadian Emergency Response Benefit. They don't qualify for EI, and they don't qualify for the wage subsidy that's coming up. So the government is looking to fill this gap for freelancers, contract employees, and gig economy workers. The other gap is students. So we need to sit tight and see what the government puts together for these groups of people. All right. Uh, Leslie Ann, this next question is for you. I'm 71 years old and my pension is down 30%. I have no other sources of income. What should I do? For this particular scenario, the government has rolled out a new, it's a reduction of what you have to remove from your RIF or withdraw from your RIF every year. It's down 25% to buy seniors a little bit more time for their portfolios to recover. On the good news, though, the CPP and old age security benefits are not changing, so that income can be relied upon. Okay. Uh, Carrie, here's another question. If I can't afford rent and my landlord isn't willing to bend, what are my options? Well, that's a good question. Um, well, first of all, you can sit tight because the courts are closed and all the provinces have suspended or halted evictions. So you're safe for now. Um, the good thing also is um, you can ask your landlord to apply for a mortgage deferral. They just need to call up their bank and they can defer their mortgage for up to six months. And this will give you some wiggle room when it comes to paying the rent. Now, most landlords are being very flexible because they know we're in the middle of a pandemic. So offering to pay partial rent um, and to make a budget and see what you can offer um, goes a long way to keeping the goodwill going. And there are provinces like British Columbia that are offering um, a subsidy to landlords. It's up to $500. They just need to apply and it goes straight to them. And other provinces may be following suit. Hmm. But the mortgage deferral, that's interesting. Easing the pressure on them so that they each ease the pressure. Uh, on you. Leslie Ann, mm. what do I do about my RSPs melting away? So if you're young, you ride this out. But if you're near to retirement, you need to make a shift in your portfolio. What we're looking to always do in our portfolio is make sure we have proper asset allocation and diversity, a slice for what we call fixed income, a slice for cash and some equities. So again, if you're young, you can ride this out and the investment community does agree the recovery road is going to be long, possibly three plus years. So hang in there. All right. Leslie Ann, Carrie, good advice as always. Thanks so much for your time.